Imagine standing on a tropical island 66 million years ago. The forest is quiet, too quiet. Suddenly, the earth trembles, not from a T-Rex or a thunderclap, but from something worse. Not from the land, not from the sea, but from the skies. You look up, and it's already too late. Most people have heard of Quetzalcoatlus, the featherless flying titan that soared over ancient North America. But what if I told you? It may not have been the biggest flyer after all. Hidden in the heart of Europe, a monstrous predator once terrorized the skies and stalked the land, so massive it was thought to be a dinosaur when first discovered. Meet Hatsagopteryx, part bird, part nightmare, and perhaps the largest flying animal to ever live. The story begins in the 1970s. In Romania, a group of student paleontologists made a discovery that would puzzle scientists for decades. Massive bone fragments, a skull and a humerus, emerged from the sediment. Too big for a bird, too strange for a theropod. Initially, scientists thought they had found a new carnivorous dinosaur. But over time, the clues began to point to something even more extraordinary. This was a pterosaur. But not just any pterosaur. This was an Asdarkid a family of giant flying reptiles with long necks, powerful wings, and a reputation for size. And this one was different. It was officially named in 2002, Hatsagopteryx thambema, which literally means Hatsag Basin Wing Monster, a name that fits all too well. So just how big was this beast? Estimates suggest a wingspan of up to 12 meters or 39 feet wider than a Cessna airplane. It likely stood as tall as a modern giraffe, about five meters high, with a skull over 2.5 meters, or eight feet in length. But what really sets Hatsagopteryx apart isn't just its size, it's its build. Most pterosaurs were lightweight, almost delicate. Not this one. Hatsagopteryx was a tank. Its bones were thick, its skull was heavy ridged and reinforced with muscle attachment points. And its neck? Short, wide and absurdly strong, able to support forces 10 times its body weight. This wasn't just the biggest flyer. It was a flying battering ram. Welcome to ancient Europe, a chain of tropical islands surrounded by deep, open ocean. One of those islands was Hatzig Island, roughly the size of modern-day Ireland, but totally isolated. Here, evolution did something strange. With few predators and limited resources, dinosaurs on Hatzeg shrunk. Titanosaurs the size of buses elsewhere became cow-sized here. Meat-eating theropods turned into pint-sized hunters. Evolution created dwarf dinosaurs. But while the dinosaurs got smaller, Hatzegopteryx got bigger. Why? Because nature abhors a vacuum. With no large land predators around, Hatsagopteryx didn't just rule the skies, it took over the land too. Hatsagopteryx wasn't a gentle giant. It was a ground-stalking terror. Scientists believe it was a terrestrial hunter patrolling the island on foot like a stork from hell. Its massive skull, with a bite like a sledgehammer, could crush or impale prey. What did it eat? Likely anything that moved. That included dwarf sauropods like Magyarosaurus, duck-billed dinosaurs like Telmetosaurus, and armored creatures like Struthiosaurus. Juveniles, adults, it didn't matter. If it could catch it, it could kill it. Researchers suspect it used its sharp beak to stab or bludgeon prey, like a living spear. And thanks to its stocky neck and rigid skull, it could take on animals that most flying predators couldn't even dream of attacking. Here's the big question. With all that size and muscle, could Hatsagopteryx actually fly? Surprisingly, yes. Though heavy and robust, its bones were filled with air pockets, similar to styrofoam, making them strong yet lightweight. 
Its wings were well developed, and its chest muscles suggest powerful flapping. However, flight wasn't effortless. Recent studies suggest it likely couldn't fly for long distances, like seabirds or albatrosses. Instead, it may have used short bursts to hop between hunting spots or escape danger. To take off, it likely used a quadrupedal launch, pushing off the ground with all four limbs, leaping into the air like a monstrous grasshopper before catching the wind. It wasn't graceful, but it was effective. Haseg Island was a strange, lush world, a subtropical paradise with rivers, forests, and dense vegetation, the perfect place for life and death. Its isolation produced some of the most bizarre creatures on Earth. Alongside dwarf dinosaurs lived ancient snakes, croc-like reptiles, early mammals, and even other flying reptiles. Three other Asdarkid species have been discovered on the island, some with wingspans of up to five meters. But none came close to the size or power of Hatsagopteryx. It was the top predator, on land, in the sky, everywhere. For millions of years, Hatsagopteryx ruled its island kingdom. But like all great reigns, it came to an end. 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid slammed into Earth. Fires swept the globe, the skies darkened, food chains collapsed, dinosaurs and giant pterosaurs alike were wiped out. Hatsagopteryx, along with its kin, vanished into extinction. A ruler lost to time, but its bones tell a story of a flying giant unlike any other, one that adapted, dominated, and evolved into the nightmare king of an island forgotten by history. So the next time you hear someone say, Quetzalcoatlus was the biggest flying animal ever, ask them if they've heard of the monster from Romania, the island titan, the land-stalking nightmare, the sky king the world forgot. If you enjoyed this dive into prehistoric terror, hit that like button and subscribe for more tales of giants, monsters, and lost worlds.